VIY equals VFY. VIY equals VFY. Initial velocity up equals final velocity down. This little ball, this little ball right here, has a VY at the beginning. It has a VX, okay? X, okay? X. It's going to do a what? An arc. When it gets to the top of the arc, it's going to have just a VX. Just a VX. And then, when it falls down at the exact same height that it started at, then it's going to have a VX that is the same. And, there's my initial velocity, a final velocity Y that is down. But that was equal to what I had at the beginning. Okay? So, the initial velocity equals up equals the final velocity down. Let's say I fired it at 45 degrees. Let's say I fired it at 45 degrees. If I fired it at 45 degrees, 45 degrees, then what does that mean, folks? What does that mean? Well, if there was my projectile right there, okay, and this is my VY initial up, and this is my VX, and that means if I fired it, Oops. Well, you get the picture. Let me erase the triangle here so you guys don't get confused. I know that high schoolers get confused here. All right, look. Boom, boom, boom. There's my projectile. Okay, there's my initial velocity y up. There's my vx, and I fired it at 45 degrees. So what does the sign of 45 degrees mean? Hmm? What's the sign of 45 degrees? Vy over my hypotenuse, right? And my cosine of 45 degrees is what? Adjacent, Vx over the hypotenuse. Well, at 45 degrees, they're going to be equal. That leg equals that leg. My initial velocity y that goes up is equal to my velocity x. Okay? They're equal. Easy peasy. That's why 45 degrees is the best angle to shoot at.